Okay, welcome back to another edition of the Morning Mailbag. And I got a question from Lakaya out there. This is Coach T from Tackle Trading. You know, always get in the game. Communicate with us. Use the Clubhouse, uh, Twitter, Facebook, all of our social media. Find a way. If you've got a question, ask a coach. You know, ask another student. This one's from Lakaya, and uh, I did cut this down because uh, there was a lot more here, but this was the, the meat of what I thought was important to talk about here in this video. Uh, she says, uh, Hello, Tim. I am one of your Master Trader students. One thing that really confuses me are the different price amounts in the top left corner, uh, and that's in Thinkorswim. Option buying power, Forex buying power, net liquidation and day trades, cash and sweep vehicle all have different amounts. So what we'll do is we'll kind of talk a little bit about terminology, okay? And the terminology used between, and this can be a, a, a real tricky point for a beginning trader, between Thinkorswim or IBD or any other broker and your mentors or master trader or your book or tackle trading, right? It doesn't always jive, does it? You know, it, it doesn't always uh, come in the same way. So let's focus on some of the major ones. Let's focus on the ones that Lakaya had identified from Thinkorswim uh, and she wants to know what they are and some explanations. So let's see here, Lakaya. And so let, let's write them all down here. Okay, so option buying power, Forex buying power, net liquidation. <laughs> Cash and sweep vehicle. And you have a few more. What is the strike? Buying power effect versus how much you spend. Okay. And let's see, got a couple other good ones in here. And like you say, I think you actually nail it right on the head here. Uh, you say, I know all this will sink in the more I trade. What I think understanding all the lingo is what would help me the most right now. And I de absolutely understand that. And what we'll do is we'll talk a little bit about what these different things are and where you may get different terminology. I'll also kind of go through the entirety of Think or Swim and help you understand a little bit about where stuff is, okay? Now, up on the top left of your Think or Swim account, is where you'll get a bunch of data, okay? Option buying power is the amount of money you have left to trade options with. So that's essentially how much you have available to use for new positions. Forex buying power is the amount of money you have left to take on foreign currency pair trades. Uh, you learn about that in session six, six of the Master Trader. Coach Matt, my brother, actually did a really good Forex 101 video series also at Tackle Trading. There's a lot to learn about Forex uh, in regards and in addition to options and stock, but those are separate amounts. And the reason they're separate amounts, they're not tied together. The actual accounting on the back end of Thinkorswim is different. Okay, So they, the, the accounting for Forex is different for options, so they split them. Net liquidation in day trades. This is essentially the account value that you have. It's how much money the account is worth. So if it has $399,251, that means with all of the positions and everything I'm in, profits, losses, equity, uh, options, all of it, it's $399,000. Cash and sweep, okay? This is a, an accounting factor from Thinkorswim's end. Quite frankly, don't worry about that right now. It's not going to affect your decision making. Uh, as you look at the numbers, they can be a little bit intimidating. Like, what, what is it I'm looking at here, right? Well, these are account value numbers. They don't have anything to do necessarily with your individual trades. See, a lot of the terminology we just talked about also is going to apply to individual positions. I'm going to go to the old layout for simplicity and kind of show you a couple of things. All of these different positions have what we call a BP effect. BP stands for buying power. Okay, so over here I'm going to add buying power versus spent money. These are different things. So right now, if you do trade somewhere else, I apologize. If you have a different broker, and you deal with it later. <laughs> Maybe a different video. But in terms of what we talk about in Master Trader, 
buying power can also be thought of as margin. You'll hear that terminology, okay? Uh, cost, or and you'll even hear just like BPE, things like that. You'll hear shortcuts for that, buying power effect, okay? They're the same thing. Now, essentially what this means is how much money it's required for you to put the position on. Strike price we'll get to in a minute. Cash and sweep I want you to not worry about right now. Net liquidation like I just described. This is your account value. Account or accounts depending on if you're measuring one or more. Okay, Forex buying power is the amount of money you have left to trade Forex. So cash for FX trades is what that is. All right. Option buying power is the cash for stock, ETF, and option trades. Okay, let me move this a little bit here. So we try to use that terminology consistently at tackle trading as well, but uh, it's always good to get uh, clarity. Now the strike price, this was one question you specifically had. Inside Thinkorswim, strike prices okay, are right down the center and they're for options. If you haven't uh, read the Options 101 series at uh, Tackle Trading, I want you to go to Tackle Trading, type in Options 101. Okay? In your Master Trader homework as well, uh, there was a list of uh, articles to read. Okay, Or you could even just put in Strike Price. Okay, Put in Strike Price. And then in the Options 101, Expiration, Strikes, and Basics, there's actually a good article I wrote it uh, in December of 2014, uh, about one year from exactly when I'm recording this video, and go through and read that, and it kind of explains what the strike prices are. You know, the thing about pretty much everything we do over here is it's probably already been answered in some form or fashion, and, and one of the things is just about digging it up, right? So there's a couple of things that I would recommend. Number one, if you are interested, you need more information about options, click on options, okay? And uh, like go to the Tackle Trading Options 101 videos, and it will show. Uh, I've already linked in a lot of the different videos that are kind of on the site that I think are very helpful, very important. Uh, same thing on Forex, same thing on stock. And, and as always, you can always email me, buzz me a quick email. Uh, I do like Twitter, uh, I'm <laughs> kind of a Twitter nerd. So uh, uh, hit me up on Twitter if you're a social media person. Post on our Facebook page, however you can communicate with us. You know, I'm happy to, to take on questions and we'll design it. But remember, there's other things that have to happen here. Part of the answer to your question, Lakaya, is frankly something that you hear from mentors a lot and that is to trust the process you know terminology and the little things that is very normal uh, you know in learning whenever you start something the finish first of all who knows when that is right uh, but it's not a linear journey you know it's not uh, in fact the the more you know the more you'll be able to learn faster and comprehend better later. So part of the challenge, I think, in, in all this is embracing the idea of the learning curve. See, I think uh, just a, oh, that didn't work exactly how I wanted it. Let's do that again. Okay, the idea of the learning curve, right? I mean, just to get to that point to where your learning starts to accelerate, uh, you got to get some of the basics down. Now, in terms of trading, these steps, these little things that you you do along the way, you have to you have to do from practice. I mean, uh, certain key steps that have to happen. Obviously, we need to have a foundation of terminology. Uh, you need to have some strategies. You need to have some strategy rules. Uh, a way to design a trade, a way to implement a trade, a way to enter a trade. But the learning curve does get better. Okay. I can tell you this, I've been in the market now for 10 years, guys, and I still learn things. You know, I still learn things about the way the markets are working and developing, and as they change, see, market conditions aren't always the same. I remember my first year of trading, and uh, I got to tell you, I, I was probably, looking back at it, I was probably confused for most of the year, even though I didn't know it. Uh, knowing what I know now, looking back at how little I really knew, uh, it was in, in, unbelievable how confused I was. 
And uh, I am, I've been through that journey. We all have. I started out as a student. Uh, I took a, a lot of classes and read books and worked with mentors. And I, I sat with two different mentors. And to, to get to the point where you have an advanced comprehension of strategy, you've got to put the time in. Now, that's why you're here. And that's why you're doing the videos. And I commend you on all that. But you also need to embrace the idea of process because it's not going to happen in your first month just because. Now, this is why we practice. You know, in your trading account, make sure that you go out there and you apply the trades because things like the strike or learning how to customize the little columns with direction, with mentorships, with trading labs, attending the coaches show, watching the video, uh, participating in the clubhouse. If you'll participate and ask for help, you'll get the answer to that stuff. Okay. That stuff may feel really, you know, like a big challenge or, or whatnot, but it's not. It just requires that you ask the right people or the right mentors or the right uh, fellow students or get the right content and ask the right question. Okay, so be willing to do that. Uh, Lakaya, hopefully this does clear up some of the terminology. Uh, I will give you one last look here at the monitor tab. You know, there's a lot of customization that can happen, and I, I did a bunch of videos on the monitor tab from before. They've updated it though, so even like uh, some of the old videos I did are a little different in terms of view because Thinkorswim updated their software. Okay, so you got to learn how to use this because reading your statement is one of the most important things that you can do as a trader. Period. Okay. All right, uh, another edition of our morning mailbag. You know what we do over here. Uh, let's just take a look at all the content that comes out on a weekly basis here at Tackle Trading. Well, we've got meet meet the yield curve. curve. Uh, Tyler Craig, another great newsletter here on a Sunday. That's always sent out to our our, vi our rookie and pro members. Option report by Coach Gino. New picks are out. Market recaps every day. Magical properties, the Dow Gold Ratio. That's the uh, tales of a technician stuff. Forex report, coaches show, market report, commodity report. We put stuff out all the time. You know, a lot of really, really good things over there. If you have any requests, let me know and uh, get in the game. Get off the sidelines and take control of your financial future at www.tackletrading.com. Get in the game.